I'm Will Terry, the illustrator, and I'm back again, and this is video number two. You guys all have your paper. That's awesome. Now, some people might get a little bit loud. You know what? Remember who we talked about before? What are we supposed to do? That's right. When we see text, we're supposed to be quiet. So if you ever start getting a little loud and you see text come in, you got to be quiet. Okay, so we're getting ready to draw. Now, you've got your paper and your pencil. I don't want anybody drawing with a crayon right now. You know why? Because you can't erase a crayon. Wish I could draw with a crayon, but I can't because I can't erase it. Okay? Now, the other thing I want you to remember is I want you to draw really light at first, and I'll show you. Okay? Because if you draw real hard and push down real hard, you can't erase it either. Right? Because it's too dark. Okay. So, here we go. I'm going to draw and I'm going to show you my, my drawing here and then I want you to do it. So you'll just follow along on the instructions, okay? Alright, here we go. Will you guys follow along as I read this? In this lesson, we are going to learn to draw a cat using simple shapes. Will you guys read with me this time? You ready? In this lesson, we are going to learn to draw a cat using simple shapes. Thank you. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is draw some ovals. Some people call them ellipses because that's really what they are, but they look like an egg shape. So I want you to get your paper out. You can start doing it right along with me. We're just going to draw ovals. You can draw them anywhere on your paper. If they have bumps in them, that's okay. If they don't match up, that's okay. Do you see how I like to just kind of go over the ellipse before I start making a mark? That's kind of where I'm practicing. Okay, teachers, if you want to pause, now's a good time. Okay, all eyes up here. And let me ask you this. Just think about it or raise your hand. What are all the parts of a cat? What kinds of things do a cat ha does a cat have? That's right, they've got a tail, they have ears, they have a triangle nose, they have, what are these? That's right, paws. And what about this? Don't say it out loud, just think about it. Eyes, that's right. And, oh yeah. That's right, a mouth. Look at those little balls for the mouth. And what are those? They're whiskers, huh? Ooh, look who it is. Is everybody being quiet? Shh. Whenever we see text, remember. Okay, on a new sheet of paper, I want everyone to make a nice big oval. Okay, make that shape. And your teacher will pause the video until everybody's ready. Okay, now you guys can draw along with me. We're going to make a cat using those parts. So first I want you to put a head on your cat just like this. And it doesn't matter if you can keep up or not because your teacher will be able to pause the video again. Okay, first I'm going to put a tail on my cat. So you guys can go ahead and put a tail on. Okay, then I'm going to put little legs on my cat. I like little legs because I like I like fat, chubby cats. I don't know why, but I just do. Okay. So now we have a tail and we have little legs. Now we put the triangle ears. Wow, it's already looking like a cat. We're taking all those things that we learned and putting them on. There's the triangle nose. Now there's the little balls that go under the nose to help form the mouth. See that? And then the eyes that are slanty. Okay. And then we can put little eyeballs inside the eyes. Yep. Maybe work on that mouth a little bit. You guys can work on your drawing. And whiskers, right? 
Because all cats have whiskers, don't they? Okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna just fix my drawing a little bit. You guys can just keep drawing along. And you fix whatever you need to fix on your drawing. Now, your drawing's not supposed to look like the person next to you. It's your own drawing. And it can look very different. And it should live, look very different because artwork's not like math. Not everybody should get the same answer. Okay? So it should be very different. And I want to put some little stripey kind of things on my cat. And I'm going to fix the ears a little bit. And you guys, again, you can fix whatever you want and you can make the tail as curvy as you want and if it doesn't look like my cat that's a good thing okay so there's the cat and if your teacher needs to pause the video then she can right now okay okay all eyes up here while i draw the parts of the cat again we got the tail the ears the mouth the paws the eyes and the whiskers. Whoa! Did you just see what I saw? Everybody's supposed to be quiet. Okay, now, all pencils down. You're going to watch me. And I'm going to draw three shapes. And you guys are going to get to try this after I'm done. So just watch right now, okay? Okay, all eyes up here. So I drew three shapes. a Kind of a funny shape, a triangle, and a square, right? Okay, now... If we take these parts of a cat and we put them on these shapes, we're going to make these, all, these are all going to be head shapes. Then all of a sudden, any shape can look like a cat. So it doesn't matter so much if you can draw a cat really good. What really matters is if you put the parts of a cat on a cat. So the shape can be any shape. Look, did you think that funny shape would look like a cat? The only reason it looks like a cat is because it's got some cat parts on it. And this is true for any animal. A dog, an elephant, a horse, a rhinoceros, a monkey. They all have their own parts. Look, I'm going to put those triangle ears on this triangle. That's kind of weird, huh? We'll put the little nose on. The, the cat nose, remember? Look up there. See the cat nose? Okay, everybody's quiet. Look at that. And put the eyes on. It's starting to look like a cat, isn't it? What's it missing? Whiskers. Look at that. We got two cats now. Can we make that square into a cat? I don't think so. I don't know. What should we do? I know. Let's add some cat parts. Okay, here's the nose and the mouth, right? That we learned about earlier. And there's the triangle nose. See at the top, there's a triangle nose up there, and now there's a triangle nose on the square. We're going to go whiskers this time. It's already starting to look like a cat. Oh my gosh. But it's a square head. That's weird. Look at the eyes. And you can make any shape eyes. It doesn't matter. The triangle ears are really important to make it look like a cat. Look at that. Another cat. Okay, your turn to try. Teachers, pause the video. Okay, all eyes up here, pencils down. I'm going to draw three ovals, just like that. The top one is going to be my fish. The next one's going to be my bird, and then I'm going to draw a dog on this one. Those are my body shapes. Do they look like a fish, a bird, and a dog? No. But when I put the fish characteristics on the fish, guess what? I got myself a fish. When I put the bird stuff on a bird, I got myself a bird. What do you think is going to happen when I put dog stuff on? That's right. You got yourself a woof woof. Okay, kids. All eyes up here. I'm going to show you one last thing, and that's how to draw girls and how to differentiate them from boys. And there's basically two things. Girls have longer eyelashes and they have really different and neat kinds of hair shapes because they have so much hair than boys so they can do a lot more things with their hair so girls are kind of lucky that way and their hair comes in all different kinds of shapes and so 
a lot of girls look a lot different than boys. So that's one way that you can make a girl look different. Look at this girl right here. Because she has so much more hair, she can put it up. Look at the girl next to her. She has a ponytail. That's a neat little shape that kind of comes off the side of the head. This girl right here has a piece of hair that flips down. And boys don't have that. Boys typically have short hair. Now, some have long hair, but most of them have short hair. And so that's drawing girls. Just eyelashes and different hair shapes. Last, I want to show you some characters that I've drawn and painted. This is Monkey, and this is Croc. And they're characters in my new book that I just did in 2011, Monkey and Croc. Here's the big bottom boar from the Three Little Gators. You know Tex, Armadilly Chili. This is a bull riding a bike. Isn't that fun? And a jumping pig. This boy is at the campfire. What's he roasting? Yeah. And look at this girl. She's bringing her pet to show and tell. A princess. That's it. That was so much fun, wasn't it? I, I could tell that a lot of you guys are doing much better. I'll bet your teachers can too. You know what? If you keep practicing what we just learned, you're going to get way better. You're going to become so good, it's going to be scary. That's true. Raise your hand if you felt like you understood what I was talking about in my drawing. Go ahead, raise your hand up there. Okay, go ahead and raise your hand. Uh, that means just raise your hand, right? And not talking. We gotta be quiet around decks. Well, I want you to, whenever your teacher's ready, you can move on to video number three. And we're gonna take what we learned here and we're gonna do another lesson that's even more fun. Okay? So we'll see you on video number three sometime.